my favorite part of doing this and what keeps me going is I love writing the music. Like I love, I love the, that keeps me going. And then too, I love hearing, you know, getting a chance one-on-one -on -one with the fans. And then outside of that, everything else um, uh, is, is not, I wouldn't say a struggle, but is like the, what stretches me. I think the thing that was hardest for us girls was trying to figure out how to balance ministry and business because it was one of those things where we always told God, we're like, God, I don't want to get signed. God, we want to just be ministry. We want to play it just at churches and it would just be all about you and, and, and never get signed. And God really just kind of started changing our hearts with that. Like I use people in the industry to get your music out there. Like I'm you there. What they do is a ministry too. And so God really had to show us how to merge those two things, that we can have a business mindset, but also be ministry-minded. Hardest thing, honestly, the hardest thing for me was bass. I don't know why. Okay, no, I think I do know why. Um, when I do something, I don't do it unless I'm excellent at it. That's just my personality. When I had to learn bass, I had five days to learn because we had a weekend of shows. And I, I had to stand in front of an audience for probably the first three years and do something that I felt totally uh, dumb in. You know what I mean? Like if that's uh, for uh, lack of a better word. And then having our parents as our managers was another thing where it's not just mom and dad anymore. You know, they're making business decisions for us. So having to learn that, you know, I think at first it was kind of business all the time. Like we'd always just talk about business. And then I think we had to realize how to balance that. Like, okay, maybe when we're at the dinner table, we shouldn't talk about business things. You know, maybe we should just be a family. And, and, and so trying to learn how to balance that too. So it's all about balance, like having to learn, especially doing it as a family. We all, we really had to learn how to balance all of that. It was just God's sense of humor being like, you're going to feel weak every time you step up on that stage because I maybe it was because I felt so overconfident in talking and in you know leading the show that when I strapped on that bass and still to this day when I strap on a bass I look at it and I'm like I don't know what I'm doing like it's been 10 years that I've been playing but it's still not anything that comes naturally to me it's not and um, I know that's why God did it <laughs> I know that's why he gave me something that was kind of always that thorn for me and um, yeah, it was that was that was the hardest thing for me was playing bass. I think biggest challenge. Now, I think when we started there was such a simplicity in what we did. Like there was just it was just us and our ministry. Like and that was it. And I think it was just so easy not to be tainted in any way or not to be swayed from your original vision. And then I think now there's so many other hands in the mix and so many things now to think of and and so many things to be distracted on. The most challenging thing, I think it's still those two issues of not letting everything be business all the time and and really keeping the focus on ministry because I think you can turn it to everything being business, everything being let's just write a song for a radio hit, let's just you know do this just to be more popular where you have to make sure your mind's still set on the ministry and why you started doing this in the first place and not just writing a song to get a hit single and not just doing something to sell more records but to make sure that God is still number one and that is why we're still doing this. And so I think it's, it's kind of still making sure that your mindset's right and that you don't lose the vision of why you started this in the first place. God has been so faithful in teaching me how to let go of so much. Um, you know, probably the older I get, the more I kind of like to be home. <laughs> you know, I'm a, I'm a girl, woman, whatever. And <laughs> I like to be home and, you know, have my own room and I like, I like having quiet time by myself and it's really hard when you're sitting in a bus or sharing a hotel room and I, I mean I love my family, I can't imagine doing this with anybody else, but I think the hardest thing is going, I haven't been by myself in weeks, you know, and I, I, I like to sit in a room with my Bible and God and just, and when I'm at home I'll do that for hours, I just, I love it, it fills me up, um, but being on the road that's, that's the most challenging thing is when am I gonna get time with just me and God? There's just now a persistence of, no, we need to keep our first vision and, and our first love and, and really just make the main thing the main thing and not be swayed by, oh, you know, we're not selling as many albums, we should be doing this, or oh, we're not number one, we should be doing this. Like, and that's just so easy to go there, but to, but to remember that simplicity of being like, no, it's just all about serving the Lord 
doing what we're called to do, no matter what the results are, no matter what God is good, no matter what, we are going to be faithful to what he's called us to do. And I think that is a great challenge.